Hey everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage video. Now, in the previous one, we talked about customizable hitboxes, and we've got a bit of a follow on from that. I've got a bit of a test world set up here. We've got our player, we can run around, and I've got full camera controls. Now, they're from a previous video, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and we teach you everything to do with Game Builder Garage. Now, a few of you may be recreating a Mario style game where you've got blocks and you can jump on them. Similar to Mario platforming, but when you jump from underneath, they break. Now, as you... Oops. Oops. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Now, as you will know, with Super Mario, they only break when you hit them from underneath. Now, if you make this box destructible from a person, then it's gonna break whichever direction you hit the box. But we can only break the box by jumping underneath. And the way that is done is pretty simple. It's looking a bit complicated here. I've got a few lessons set out, but we've got our person node on right here. And this line going up, joining the person node on, if we zoom in quite a lot, is a box. Now you can see the size of the box, the box is tiny. Now that is because if I make it visible, and let's change the colour to orange, that's way, it's very visible. Now you can see it's only 0.4 by 0.4, and it's 10 centimetres thick. So it's not very big at all. And when we press play, you can see there that it is more or less on the top of the player. And that means that when we jump from above, we don't break the boxes. It's only when this orange box touches the other box. So what we've done, we've made it smaller. If we go into the settings, we've made it destructive basically we've made it destructive for anything but you could change this so it only destructs boxes um maybe making something out of crates or or whatever that you use in there now i've made it visible we need to make it invisible again it's solid and it's movable so really you only need solid movable and whatever it's destructive for turn visibility off as you can see it goes away and then you hit it from below so there we have it we've also got a few other things we're going to be showing you that in the top right hand corner there we've got lives we've got three lives now and if i hit the enemy you can see the life goes down by one also it automatically jumps and it plays a sound as if we've took a hit and we also do a spin animation now the turnip renews our lives so we're going to be going through that in an upcoming video hopefully you stick around for that <laughs> hopefully you stick around for that because we've got a lot of things lined up here as you can see things are starting to get really complicated now as you can see they're getting complicated but if you break them down they're not too bad we've got the person node on connected to a box the box is a little bit smaller than the person and it's attached at the top that way we can only break blocks from below hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial if you have hit the subscribe button let me know in the comments section down below what sort of game you're planning on making and we'll see you in the next video take care